All righty, how many people we do have here right now? Hi guys. Hey, good morning. No, good afternoon. Uh. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, guys. How you doing? Hi, teacher. Hey. How are you guys? I am pretty well in you. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much. Let's see each other. I cannot see you at all. Let me check. Hi, it's me. How you doing? Hey. We do have Nubia here. We do have Claudia. And we do have Isara. Oh, my girl. Today is a girl power, right? Girl power. Woohoo! Only baby girls. That's amazing. We rock, girls. <laughs> How's your day going? So far, is it good? Yeah? Yes, it was good. It was good. Did you do something special today, by any chance? Nothing, teacher. Nothing, really? Come on. Nothing special, just a regular day. Okay, so Isara, tell me, what is a regular day for Isara? <laughs> okay, well, in my case, I I prepare um, my children for the school okay. and prepare the, the food and clean my house <laughs> mm -hmm. and, and pick up my children off the school and and study English okay. <laughs> in my free time. Okay. <laughs> um, sometimes I walk in the park with my children mm -hmm. and play with, with them and watch movies with them. <laughs> oh, okay. That's awesome. <laughs> Very good. So that's a regular day for you. Yes. <laughs> okay. That's good. At what time did you wake up? I wake up at 5 a.m. You wake up or you woke up? Woke up. <laughs> woke up. Very good. Yes. Woke up. At what time? At, at 6 a.m., you said? 5. 5 a.m. Oh, 5 a.m. Yeah. Too early. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. Uh, tell me, tell me the truth. Has been a uh, one time in your life that you have woke up around eight a.m. <laughs> Was a long time ago. Yeah. 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 When you were young, no. When you no. Know children? <laughs> I don't remember, but you don't my... remember. Oh my goodness. Yeah. yeah. What about when your when your children um finish school? Yeah. At what time do you wake up most of the time when they are not in school? Um, 7 a.m. Okay, so it's late for you, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it oh, is. Oh, my goodness. 5 a.m. in the morning. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Okay, guys. Izara was uh, basically uh, sharing her daily basis. Uh, what is it, her regular daily routine right with her children all righty welcome to the class so well, welcome to the class natalie maria ruti carlitos claudia Nuvi, luis and christian oh my god girls sorry you it was supposed to be a girls class but guess what mr alexander arrived then we do have carlitos then we do have luis so no more girl power. Sorry for us. And all righty. Okay, but welcome. It's really nice to have you in the class today. That's amazing. All righty. Um, let's see. Alex, tell me, how's your day going? So far as you got? Oh, good. Good? Everything. Yeah, everything is good. Okay, tell okay. me, what did you do today? Tell me from the very first time that you opened your beautiful eyes until today, until right now. 
Ah, okay, teacher. This is what I wake up if I, you I put the alarm and I, I wake, I will, I woke up, up at okay, five good. in the morning. Uh -huh. I put the alarm at five o'clock in the morning. I woke up at five o'clock in the morning and okay. I stand up and go get a shower. Then I uh, get dressed and then, uh -huh. and then I, I go out to the world like, uh, Big story. Okay. And then uh, I start work uh like a seven and, and nine seven and nine minutes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what time do you I, have your break? Do you have a break during the morning or no? During the morning. Uh huh. There's like a fifteen minute break, something like that. No. 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 Nope. I, I use what? when I start um. I just have like sometimes I have like eight minutes or five minutes for for you you know relax and then again um uh -huh. I gotta go um do a um uh, again my job and then it's <gasps> and I will tell you how the day. Breakfast, my man. Ah, uh, my girl prefers uh sometimes uh to a thirty, sometimes a one, sometimes a two. It depends how how is the traffic. Wow. And how is the uh huh. Uh huh. What about at uh, what time you have your lunch? Oh, my breakfast. Sorry. Uh, the breakfast. The my breakfast. I have a a night in the morning. Another a.m. Okay. Lunch, uh -huh. My lunch it's a uh, one or or two depends or two it depends. Yeah. And at what time you finish your job? Um, I do, I finish uh seven seven thirty seven thirty. Wow! 30. And at what time you supposedly arrive back home? Uh, about about uh, eight. Wow. Oh, yeah. like a half an hour. Okay. Your work yeah. is close to where you live? It's close your house? Yeah, a little bit. Like Okay. Depends for yeah, the traffic, yeah. right? Huh? Depends on the what? traffic. Yeah, depends on the traffic, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. my God. And do you already have uh, your dinner or you're going to have dinner after class? No, I already have dinner. I, yeah. Who, pe I'm who prepare it? Was it you? Was it your mama? Um, I buy something. I, sometimes I buy, I buy something. I buy. Ah, uh, you bought or something. Sometimes, yeah, I buy something. Okay. Or, uh, or sometimes I prepare by myself. Oh my God, are you a yeah, chef? Maybe. Yeah, a little hey, bit. Hey, listen, girls, we do have a, a <laughs> chef, Mr. Alexander. That's amazing. All right. Do a you have bit. a specific um recipe that you said? It's not that I made it, but it's yummy. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we're good. Hey, guys, do me a favor. The ones that are not in traffic, I want to see your faces. Like Alex and, and Natalie and, and Nubi, if it's possible, I want to see your face. So I want your cameras to turn on, if it's possible, please. Unless, of course, you were eating or you're taking a, I don't know, a break. All right. Yeah. The, okay, guys. I, you know what? There's one rule that uh, it will be good for for everybody. Um, Sometimes, like Alex, sometimes you arrive late, right, to work. Or you are thirsty. Or you're hangry. It's okay for me. You can have a beverage in front. That's okay. It doesn't matter. You can have a snack. You can have a cup of coffee, a cup of tea. Of course, please don't bring a huge pizza, right? Because that would be not yeah. enough, all right? But you can I have <laughs> something to eat. I do understand that perfectly. Because without gasoline, we do not work, right? Like a cars. So that's okay for me. Don't worry. It's fine. But I really appreciated that everybody turned on the cameras. 
That will be really, really important. Mm. Because like, I, I want to see you guys. I want to meet you. I want to know my babies. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And you're so beautiful. You're a beautiful girl. You're a handsome boy. Come on. Yeah. Don't worry if you don't have makeup. Uh, you're home. Come on. That's great. But I'm so happy, guys, that even though it could have been a really hot day for you, you are making an extra effort. You're here and you're showing your commitment. You will train the the willing to learn. And that's amazing. I'm happy that I can see ya. I'm so happy. I'm so happy that I can see Natalie, Ruti, uh, Glendy, Claudie, Zara, Alex, David. I'm so happy that I can see you. You know what? Because I'm glad that you're fine. That you're not sick. I'm so happy to see you. So thank you so much for being here. I'm so, so happy. Guys, we're going to do something every day. Uh, like the examples or the question that I'm that I made for Saul for Insaura, for example. Um, I'm gonna pick some of you daily. We're going to practice, practice some verb tenses. Okay, we have a start already talking. You see, with me, you're gonna speak or you're gonna speak either or. And we and why? Because I want you to refresh the uses of the verb tenses. In this case, when I ask you, well, how was your day going? Could you tell me about your daily basis? We are going to practice or we were practicing what verb tense? Present or past or future, guys? Past tense. Past, exactly. And sometimes we ended up to, to ended up to forget it because uh, like Salvadorian and Latin American people, we start talking in present, then we go in past, then we go in future. But in English, it's totally different. For example, if you're talking about at a specific time, you got to stay in that time. If you're talking past, you got to stay in past. If you're talking present and present and future, future. When you learned how to handle each type of verb tenses, you can mix it up. But right now, if you, for example, talk about past, stay in past. And we're going to make some refreshes. Remember that in past tense, we have two main huge verb tenses. We have our irregular verbs and regular verbs. Do you remember that? Do you? Yeah? Yes, teacher. Yes or no? Yes, I remember that. Yeah. Yes. Only Zara? Oh, Ada? Okay. Okay. Our spirit girls. Okay, cool. For example, remember that when we're talking about regular verbs what are the termination or what is the termination for regular verbs regular ed and t exactly of course ended up in ed but the pronunciation is different right we have three categories yes. exactly however irregular verbs the termination is different it could barriers depends right so we need to like practice it not to forget it for example who can tell me what's the past tense of do? Did. All right. What's the past participle of do? Done. What? What do you say, Dave? Done. Done. Very good. Okay. What about buy? What's the past tense of buy? Bought. 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 And the past participle? Bought. Bought. Of course. What about... Wake. What's the past tense of wake? Walk. 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 And the past participle? Walk. 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 Very good. What about go? The past tense of go? Went. Past participle? Gone. 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 Not. What about damage? Damage. Damage. Mm -hmm. What about the past of get? Got. 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 Past participle? Got him. Like, exactly. You can say gotten, like an American pronunciation, but you can also say gotten. And that's a valid pronunciation as well. Either or. What about right? Passing of right. Wrote. Wrote. Past participle of right. Written. 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 How you spell it? Who can spell it for me? Please. 
Eric, please Hi. get somebody who can write it down on the chat right now. How you write written in this English? How you write it down? Who can help me? Fast, fast, fast. Okay. Be the winner. Come on. Hurry up. Chat. R I D D E N. Ah, no, 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 no. Write it down. Right. Okay. You're missing something, David. What you're missing? Well, what is it? Teacher, are you serious? Yes, you're missing the period at the end of the sentence. I teacher is a period. Yes, it's a period. But period is period in English. Thank you so much. I'm so happy. Yeah, good. Awesome. Why? Why I emphasize in the period, guys? Why? Okay, I know. For I know the, everybody wants to participate. I do understand. But hold your horses, use, hold your horses, please. Uh huh, Carlita. For the use in the platform. Exactly. That is one of the reasons. What is another reason? Who can tell me? I know everybody wants to participate, but I know. But take it easy, guys. Take it easy. One at a time. One at a time. <sighs> Okay. Uh huh. Natalie, my dear, if you don't answer, I gotta ask. Uh huh, Natalie, what is the idea that came up to your mind? Why we need to put a period at the end of a sentence? Tell me, Natalie. But turn on your, your audio, please. I don't know, teacher. Okay, she's sincere. I don't have any idea. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's valid. Edda. Okay, tell me. The meaning of the hug, hug your, your horses. No, no, no. No, I, I'm, I'm asking sorry. why we need to put period at, at the end of a sentence. Why? And this mm -hmm. is a recap, guys. You're supposed to know that already. I think for indicate that. Don't, the, the don't worry. Is, is a hug, Alex. To indicate that the. the, the, the okay, is there, is there? Come up. You can do it. Get out. Get out. Okay. Yeah, you can do it. To indicate what? To indicate something like it's finished. It's yeah. Uh, great job. Isn't it amazing? You broke my heart, guy. You broke my heart. Excellent job. Exactly. That was the reason why. Exactly. You're right. Yeah. For example, guys. Remember that we always, if we finish our ideas and we don't have anything to say, anything else to say, you got to put period at the end of the sentence. Exactly. Why? Because your idea is finished. So remember, guys, I don't care how you write in Spanish, but I do care how you write in English. Period is period. I know it's a little circle at the end of an idea, but it's really important because if there's the period is missing, that means that you still have something else to say. And that is really important. Remember, this little circle at the end of the sentence, it calls period. But this little circle, when you're using it for numbers, is called what? Point. And if you use this little circle, when you're talking about email address, that's the, you you call it dot. Remember, it's one little circle, but depending on their circumstances, it could changes the name. How you call this little circle at the end of the sentence? What's the name of it? Period. Period. What's the name of that when you're using it? Uh, when you're using it for numbers? Oh. Point. Point. A and when you're point, using it for an email address, dot. 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 very good. It's really, really important. All righty. Awesome. All right. Very good. Okay. Enough brainstorm, right? You're almost like, smell like something's burning here. Oh, okay. It's everybody brain. Very good. Excellent. Good job. 
hey, I want to see Cody. I want to see Isa. I want to see Maria and Nubi if it's possible. And Mr. Luis as well. Hey, Mr. Villafuerte, how are you? Hey, thank you. thank you. I'm so happy to see you. Also, Carlita, also Glendy. Very good. Guys, why we are recapping all this stuff? You might thinking, why this teacher is crazy sometimes and she's like recap all this knowledge that we're not supposed to know? Is because we're going to use it for today's topic. Remember that yesterday we started talking about complaints? Remember that? Who can tell me or who can give me a definition of complaint? Only when one. I, I need only one. It's when you uh, dis disagree about something or maybe with another person. And I don't know, different situations. Yeah, that's good. Awesome. Okay. If you if you can see a little tail there, it's because my little cat is behind me, okay? Just to give you like a heads up. Okay, awesome. Very good, Ada. Very good. Exactly. We talk about many complaints. Do you remember one of them? Only one. I need only one. When we go to a restaurant. Uh-huh. Exactly. What's another one? In the hotel. In the, hospital. In the hospital, what else? In the bank. In the bank, yes, it's really common, right? Uh-huh. In a restaurant, in a hotel. Awesome. Today, guys, everybody told me, teacher, I want to develop my listening skill. And guess what? That teacher is really obedient. Today, we're going to start, and I'm going to share with you some audio and this audio, guys, that is basically related to the topic that we are already developing, actually, that one is related to that, to complaints. But this is really fun, you know, because this complaint is about people describing compa complaints on a call in radio show. It's a radio show. And, of course, the radio uh, guy or girl, in this case, is Priscilla. The program calls Ask Priscilla. So we're going to listen around five people. And we need to listen to their complaints. And at the same time, after that, we're going to talk about what you think each person should do. Am I, under, am I make myself clear? Ah. Yes. Yes. Okay, okay, yes. yes, now, maybe, I don't get it. That's good, that's good, don't worry about it. Uh -huh. I'm going to fall asleep. I do have already my baby Jota here, just in case. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And my pillow. All right, awesome. So let me share right now my screen with you. Okay, and um, we're going to listen. Guys, I'm going to be really bad girl. Why? Because we need to develop our skill, right? So in this model, I'm going to play the audio only two times. Nothing else. I think it's enough two times. The first time, I'm going to just play the audio. And please, girls and guys. Try to focus. Try to, if you want, you can close your eyes and try to pay attention to each people describing their complaints. Second of all, hopefully everybody is in WhatsApp. Hopefully. Because I'm going to share um, like the picture. Okay? And we're going to develop the listening skill and the reading skill at the same time. Okay, because we need to learn how to be multitasking. Are you agree with me? Are yes. you agree with me? Yes, I am. Yes, teacher. Are you sure? I don't believe you. Are you agree with me? Yes, yes teacher. Yeah. Yes, teacher. That's the spirit. Come on, energy. We are on Tuesday. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I know you're tired. 
But don't worry, Natalie, don't worry. I'm going to send you this baby Yoda later on, okay? <laughs> you like it? <laughs> I love it. Oh, Sarah's baby is there. When I mentioned baby Yoda, he like, Whoop. what are you doing? He says, I, I wanted to know your teacher. Your really? teacher is she, very funny. She's damn crazy. <laughs> 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 oh really you wanna meet me hey, yes Janelle look at Janelle she, she looks really gorgeous today oh my god what a beautiful girl Woo she's wearing her uniform by the way right thank you oh yes of course you yes. are all righty now thank you so much for being in today's class that's amazing to have you here my baby girl that's awesome Okay, guys, so please pay attention. I'm going to, to basically share with you uh, my screen. And then we're going to discuss what you understood. Okay. All right. So just give me a couple of minutes. Let me share right now my screen. All right. Oh, I'm going, I, I need to basically click on share sound and share a video because sometimes I forgot and you do not listen to anything. So I'm sorry for that, okay? All righty. What's wrong with it? Can you listen? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Page 36, exercise two, perspectives. Part A. Listen to people describe complaints on a call-in radio show. Check what you think each person should do. Ask Priscilla the problem solver. One. I ordered a jacket online, but when it arrived, I found the lining was torn. Ask for a refund. Send it back and get a new one. Two. I bought a new table from a store, but when they delivered it, I noticed it was damaged on the top. Ask for a discount. Ask the store to replace it. Three. A friend sent me a vase for my birthday, but when it arrived, it was chipped. Tell her about it. Say nothing and repair it yourself. Four. I lent a friend my sunglasses, and now there are scratches on the lenses. Say nothing. Ask him to replace them. Five. I took some pants to the cleaners, and when they came back, they had a stain on them. Wash them by hand. Ask the cleaners to wash them again for free. All righty. Tell me something. Did you understand all the complaints? No, for me. Okay. Be I honest, okay. No. All righty. Did you understand at least one of them? Yes, teacher. I, I understood the five. But oh, the last the... one. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, all, all of them. Yes, all of them, but not the complete uh, problem. Okay. The first is for a jacket. Uh-huh, okay. What else? Tell me your ideas. Doesn't matter if you do not understand everything, but what else did you understand? What was another complaint that they were talking about? In the second and the third one, I mm -hmm. understood that the table that the hair, hair ball, I think, Mm -hmm. uh, is is um is damage on the top in the table. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay. Good. What else, Mr. David? Thank you, Luis. Um, for example, the number five. Um, the man uh, took the pants to the cleaner, but mm -hmm. when um there was there were some stain. Mm -hmm. Okay. Awesome. Very good. Who else? Who else? In the theater, I remember that I, I heard uh, about uh, the sunglasses. 
Okay. But it, it, it's only, only that. No, I but don't... that's okay. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Don't worry about it. Okay, cool. All right. Excellent. Good job, guys. I know. I know it's really hard sometimes to catch up everything, but don't worry. This is the first time. If we were doing a lot of this listening exercises, we are developing that skills. I know it's really hard. We need to like um, train our brains to try to concentrate when we're listening. Because sometimes, guys, what happens is that it will be really nice if we have a quiet environment, right? All the time. But tell me something, guys. Do we have a quiet environment all the time? No, right? No. 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 We have many uh, sounds around us. For example, children like Isa. Or for example, Natalie, if you have uh, members that are listening to music, for example, watching TV. Or if we live close by to a traffic, um, to a, a street, and there's a lot of traffic, the klaxons and everything. So it's really hard, guys, to have a perfect environment for us to listen. But doesn't matter if we are in an environment that is like a, a lot of noise around us. If we learned how to focus on what we're listening, if we learn that, if we develop that skill, it doesn't matter where we'll be. We will be able to listen and to understand. That's why I'm doing this kind of listening activities. Let's listen one more time. And I'm going to do something right now. Because this first time, I put all the complaints in once. That's why it was really hard for you to catch it up. But let, I'm going to do something. I will stop after each complaint. Got it? I will stop it. And then I'm going to ask you, what did you understood? Or what did you understand? You got it? You will be good to go one by one? I think it will yes. be easier this time. So don't worry about it. it. Okay? Yes, yeah, so we're going to Let develop the skill. Definitely. Unit six. Okay. Let me stop here. Let me just share my screen one more time. And let's do it. Let's see. Okay. Let's do it one more time. What's wrong with it? Page 36, exercise two, perspectives. Part A. Listen to people describe complaints on a call-in radio show. Check what you think each person should do. Ask Priscilla the problem solver. 1. I ordered a jacket online, but when it arrived, I found the lining was torn. Okay, what was the first problem? About the jacket? About the jacket. Where she buy it? Where she bought it? She sold her jacket online. Online, exactly. She bought it. Online. She received it. And what happened when she received it? What happened? What was that complaint? That part I didn't understand very well. Okay, let's go back. Sorry. That's why I always ask. I ordered a jacket online, but when it arrived, I found the lining was torn. Okay. When I receive it, I found, she said? It's torn. That, that was torn. Okay. I, don't worry. I'm going to let you know what is the meaning of torn later on. The lining uh, was torn. The, I okay. Mean, I, I, I'm going to let you know. I will show you a picture. Don't worry. Okay. That's the first complaint. That the jacket, the line was torn. Remember that. If you want, you can write it down. The line was torn. I'm going to put it here. The line was torn. I sent it in the chat in the chat. Okay, let's continue listening it. The second complaint. Ask for a refund. Send it back and get a new one. Two. Second complaint. I bought a new table from a store, but when they delivered it, I noticed it was damaged on the top. Okay. What was the second complaint about? 
You bought a table. A table on a store. Tables on a store. Exactly. Yes, and what happened top. with the person receiving? What happened with the table? It was damaged. It was damaged. Where? Damage. The top. On the, the top. Uh-huh. Exactly. Damage on the top. Okay. Number three. Ask for a discount. Ask the store to replace it. Three. A friend sent me a vase for my birthday, but when it arrived, it was chipped. Okay, what happened? Uh-huh. A friend sent her... Uh, a friend present. sending a base. A base, a base, very good. A base, guys, is something made with glass that you use to put flowers on it. And what happened with the base? Tell her about huh? it. You want me to, to repeat it? Okay, I'm going to repeat it. Okay. But when it arrived, it was chipped. It was chipped. Tell her about it. Uh-huh. So what happened with the base? It was chipped. Uh-huh. What's that? Like, uh, like, with the damage, like, you know. Uh-huh. A little bit broken, like. Uh-huh, we can say that. But how you, for example, write that word? It was chipped. How you write it? How you write that in English? Was shipped. It was shipped? Are we talking about a boat? Are we talking about damage? What do you think? Damage, I think. Damage. Awesome. Very good. How do you write that? Can somebody write it on the chat? Anybody? Any volunteer? That would be amazing. Uh-huh. I'm going to write it down for you, okay? The base was shipped. That's what she said, right? Yes. Okay. The base was shipped. All right. Number four. Let's continue. Say nothing and repair it yourself. Four. I lent a friend my sunglasses, and now there are scratches on the lenses. Okay, what happened with this? What is the number four complain about? Sunglasses. 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 Uh -huh. yes. But what yes, happened with the friends. sunglasses? What happened with the lens? His friends scratch his lens. Aha. Uh -huh. He said that they are what? Scratches. Scratches. The scratches. The scratches on the lens, right? That's what yeah, he lens. said. On the lens. lens. Let me one moment. I need to go here. And I need to put something. Yes. There you go. Okay. What about number five? Let's do it. Say nothing. Ask him to replace them. Five. I took some pants to the cleaners, and when they came back, they had a stain on them. Okay, what happened? Number five. What is the complaint about? Send pants to the cleaners. Send pants to the cleaners. Send the pants on the cleaners. Uh-huh. But what happened with the pants when this guy received it back? Uh huh. What happened?
they have a stain on them. All right. Tell me something. Was it a little bit easier this time? When yeah. we like took time to listen each of the complaints, was it easier than the first time? No, the first time. The first time was harder, right? Yeah. What about the second time? It was a little bit easy for you? A little bit. A little bit. A yes. little bit. <laughs> it was a little okay. bit easy. But, but much better yes. than the first time, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Of course, of course. I understand. I understand. Don't worry about it. Okay. Talking about the two um words that you don't understand, what does it mean? For example, let me show it to you. Let's see. Let me just put it in a huge one. Okay, cool. I'm going to share right now my screen with you. You, you mentioned torn, right? Torn, stain. Okay. Describe to see I, what is guys, the meaning. Do you see this? Do you see this t shirt? Yes. Yes. Okay. This t shirt yes. is brand new, but it has a lot of holes on it. Oh, holes that is torn. That is torn when it's like when it's a scratch, or when it's like that is torn con muchos hoyos, right? That is that is the word torn. What about this? What happened with this girl? She was drinking a coffee, right? Yes. But There's now her blouse is stained. You see? It has coffee it's on it. Coffee. Exactly. So exactly. Um, torn means roto. And stain means oh, manchado. Right? Okay. What about chipped? It? What does it mean chipped? It? Ah, uh, no, that is Quebrado, cheap. Cheap, a little bit. But what ah, about chip? Uh -huh. Dañado, um, damage. Uh... Uh -huh. Excellent. Yes, actually, it is. Yes, that's the meaning of that. Chipped means exactly. It's, it's the, the same though, damage. Uh huh. Exactly. Uh... It's basically a synonym of damage. Okay. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So you see, guys, you're learning three new words. Teacher, in the 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 meaning of the scratches. Scratch. Yes. For example, let's say that this is a brand new cellular, right? Yes. Hopefully you can see it. I don't know if you can see it. You can can you see it? Yes, right? Over here. Yes. Okay. And guess what? My cat decided to play with it. Oh. So she used her little pass and like scratch oh, it. Yes. So now you understand what it is? Like Ara arañado. Exactly. <laughs> okay, you thank see? you. Exactly. Like exactly. Right, her yeah. little pass. Right. I I'm gonna show it to you. Give me just a moment. This baby girl decided to do like <laughs> I was playing with my mama cell phone. Sorry, bye. Okay, so exactly that happens. Sorry, she said like bye, sassy. Okay, so that's a, that was a good example, right? She was my model for today's topic. Okay, so now we understand. Are we good right now? Any no, more good. questions regarding yes. vocabulary? Yes, it's here. Uh, in that sentence, uh, mm -hmm. there are scratches on the lenses. What is lenses? Ah, oh my goodness. Ah, if you allow me one moment, I'm going to bring my glasses. I'll be right back. Okay. okay. Give me just a moment. Okay.
Okay, I came back. Allow me one moment. Please don't laugh. Because <laughs> I'm look really fancy. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> okay, no, I, this is only for protect my eyes from the computer, okay? Don't worry, I'm, I, I, I still can see. Yes. Okay, so these are glasses, right? The whole package, right? These glasses. But these are the lens, the glass yeah. part. So when the mean has a scratch, it's like. Now you got it? Got it. Yeah? Yes, I understand. I feel like I'm secretary. How am I looking? <laughs> Pretty teacher. Pretty. He's a big Duncan, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that means? Big Duncan? No? Any idea? No? Do you remember the Duncan's one? Like, yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, like, exactly. Oh, I got it. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> but in English, like... when you are like together with the teacher, when you, you call Big Duncan. Yeah, no, but, but, I, no, but I just teasing you. I'm telling you. you the truth. <laughs> I'm just teasing you, my man. Don't worry. And in French, if it's a if you're talking about men or boys, le chouchou de la classe. And if you're talking about girls, la chouchou de la classe. You see, you're learning French too. Yeah. Okay, enough using it. To be honest with you. I can I can see much better without it. <laughs> yeah, it's because this is only for for work in front of a computer. I still can see. All right. It's Any other questions? No? Are we good? Good. Okay, now do me a favor. Now let me share what we were listening. Okay, I want to share with you the image. So you, you will be able to see what we are talking about. Allow me just a couple of minutes. Okay, let me just put a little bit bigger. Let me share right now my screen. Tell me one moment. Whoops. All right. Can you see it? Yeah. No. What about now? Yes. Okay, cool. Yes. You see, we have the five complaints here. Who can help me read the first one? Thank you so much, David. Go ahead. Yes. Uh, Mr. Yes. David, thank you. The first one? Yeah, the first one. Please read it. I ordered a jacket online, but when it arrived, I found the lining was torn. Okay, very good. That was a complaint. But do me a favor. Read it one more time. David, imagine that you order a Guns N' Roses jacket, an amazing rock and roll jacket that you loved and you were expecting to receive it. You order <laughs> via Amazon or via eBay. I don't know. And when you receive it, you got to turn. How you will feel, my friend? I would feel angry. Exactly. So do me a favor. Read it once again and, and try to uh, read it like if you were complaining about it. Do it one more time. Okay. I ordered a jacket line, but when it arrived, I found the line it was turned. Okay. Much better. Very good. Awesome. Okay. We have two possible solutions. What's the first one, Alex? We have two possible solutions. What he should do about it. Can you read it for me? Alex. As for, yeah. Um, uh -huh. As for a reform. As for a reform or as for a refund? As for a reform. As for a reform or as for a refund? Uh huh. Um, ask for a refund. Say it one more time. Ask for a reform. Very good. And the second one? Um, I can, I can't hear it. That you cannot see it. I can hear what about it. Now? I, I can see. I, I, yeah. Oh. 
send it back and get a new a new one. Aha, uh -huh. do me a favor. Say it one more time. We're going to practice pronunciation and speaking right now. Send it back and get a new one. Again. <clears throat> Sorry. Send it back and get a new one. Again, I want you to, to say it all together. Don't stop. Go ahead. Okay. Send it back and get new one. Your your eat the eight the the letter A one more time please. Okay, send it back and get a new one. And there you go. Good job, my man. That's what I need. Send it back and get a new one. Excellent. Good job. Janelle, number two, please. I can see the image. You my can't see the image. What about now? Good. Uh, I think that, that it's my internet. The internet. Okay, don't worry. Don't worry. That's okay. Let me use somebody else. Carlita, what about you? Number two. I bought a new table. I I see some uh, move the, the words. Ah, so but it's more for you. It's, it's the same that in the book. Okay. Yes, the two. I uh -huh. bought a new table from a store, but when they delivered it, I noticed it was the match on the top. Very good. Possible solutions, Carlita? Continue. Ask the store to replace it. And the other one? In the first ask, one? Ask for a this discussion. Discount. 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 Do it again. Ask for a discount. Say it one more time. Ask for a discount. Very good. Number three. Thank you, Carlita. What, number three. Natalie, please. A friend sent me a base for my birthday, but when it arrived, it was shipped. Uh -huh. One more time, please, if you don't mind. A friend sent me a base for my birthday, but when it arrived, it was shipped. Aha. Uh -huh. Ah, do me a favor. Let's see. Let's do something here. Uh -huh. I want you to do me a favor. Yes, this one. I know, you're over here. Do it again, and these words that I highlighted, try to say it together. One more time, please. Uh -huh. Natalie? Only these words. No, everything. Everything, but when you are on the, on the three I words, try to say it together. Don't stop. A friend sent me a base for my birthday, but when it arrived, it was shipped. When it arrived, say it. When it arrived. When it when when it arrived. When it arrived. When it arrived. It was shipped. It was shipped. Okay, one more time. Everything together from the beginning, from the top. A friend sent me a base for my birthday. When it arrived, it was shipped. Very good, fantastic, much better. Thank you so much. Okay. Janelle, go ahead. Number four. No, the the the, the answer for number three, the two possible solutions. Number three, tell her, about, tell her about it, say nothing and repair it, repair it, it or yourself. Okay, one more, okay, very good. The first one was excellent, but let, let's do it the, the second one. One more time. Tell her about it mm -hmm. and say nothing. Repeat it yourself. Repeat it yourself. Say one more time. Repeat it yourself. Okay, one more time. Say nothing and repeat it yourself. Very good. Excellent job. Amazing. Who else? Who else? Another victim, sorry, another volunteer. Uh, Ruti, number four, please. I lent a friend my sunglasses, and now there are scratch on the les lessons. Very good, very good. Don't worry. Let's practice one more time. 
Sunglasses. Repeat it. Sunglasses. Sunglasses. Scratches. Scratches. On the lenses. On the lenses. Very good. So let's practice the first phrase. I lend a friend my sunglasses. Repeat it, please. I lend a friend my sunglasses. Very good. If you see, we have a coma here. So we need to okay. like take a breath, right? Then continue. Now there are some scratches on the lenses. Say it. And now there are scratches, scratches, scratches on the scratches on the lessons. Very good. Okay, from the beginning. Go ahead. From the top. I lent a friend my sunglasses, and now there are scratches, scratches on the lessons. Scratches. A scratch on the lens. On the lens. One more time. I lent a friend my sunglasses, and now there are a scratch on the lessons. Very good, very good, excellent. Good job, girl. Thank you, teacher. Christian, what about you, my man? I read number four. Uh, no, number four. But what I would like, if it's possible, it's basically to say that the possible solution. Uh, number two. The possible solution for number four. Oh. Ask him to replace him. Mm -hmm. And the first say, one? Say nothing. Very good. Excellent. And now that I have you on the microphone, read it number five, please. I lent a friend my sunglasses. No, number five. I, number five. Ah, I took some pants to the cleanings, and okay. when they and when they came back, they had a stain to them. Aha! Uh -huh. Very good. Good. Good try. Good try. Let's practice some pronunciations so from some words. Okay. Um, repeat after me. Cleaners. Cleaners. K back. Came back. Hara. Hara. Stain. Stain. On them. On them. On them. On them. Very good. Repeat up again. Cleaners. Cleaners. Came back. Came back. Hara. Hara. Hara stain on them. Stain on them. Very good. Can you please uh, say it from the top, from the beginning? I took some pants to the clearance, and when they came back, they hadn't a stain to them. This stain on them. A stain on them. Very good. I'll repeat again. Cleaners. Cleaners. Okay. From the beginning. Go ahead. I took some pants to the cleaners, and when they came back, they had a stain on them. Very good. Very good. Much better. Thank you so much, David. You're amazing. And what's the answer for them? Christian? What? Uh huh. Possible answers? Wash, wash them by hand. Wash them as by the, hand. And the other one? Ask the cleaners to wash them again for free. Ask the cleaners to wash them again for free. Repeat it. Ask the cleaner, cleaners. Ask, ask the cleaners to watch them again for free. Very good, very good. You see, guys, we are practicing listening. We are working on reading. We are working on pronunciation. We're working on linking the words. Okay, we're doing a lot of things at the same time. We're good, guys. Congratulations. Amazing job. Good job. Good job for your effort. I'm so happy. I know it was hard, right? And sometimes you want to kill the teacher, which is pretty understandable. <laughs> yes, I know. But don't worry about it. Every time I'm going to ask you to read, I'm going to ask you to pronunciate it. Because that's the only way that we're going to improve. Guys, every, when we are talking about complaints, there are two ways to talk about complaints. Well, actually three ways we can say that. We use the participles as an adjective, we use them with a noun, and we're gonna use like two verbs 
in an ing form let me go back right now to these complaints i'm going to show you right now my screen one more time but let me put it on the way that you will be able to see what i'm talking about okay cool let's see let me just put the example here let's see um, okay all right let's see this one let me just refresh it and let me share my screen really quickly all righty do you see this one do you see it yeah yes okay the first way to talk about complaints to describe problems for example no matter what kind of problem you're talking about but this problem is we're talking about a dress right something to wear is when you're talking about participles do you remember what what is a participle guys do you remember what it is or no being no what is a participle what is what does it mean what is a participle this part what it is what it is exactly no most of the time there are verbs right yes exactly but in this case when we are talking about <clears throat> describing problems sometimes we can use participle in the way of an adjective what is an adjective in spanish how do you use an adjective Adjective. Yeah, describe a noun. To describe what? A noun. Very good. Very good. Now, take a look at this sentence. In this sentence, what is the noun here? Is, torn, my, or dress? My dress. Dress. My dress. Correct. This is the noun, right? Okay. What is the participle of this? Torn. This one normally is a verb, but in this case, this verb is playing the role of an adjective. Why? Because it's describing a characteristic, a state, or a quality of the noun. In this case, what is telling me in Spanish? What does it mean my dress is torn? Roto, rota. Aha, uh -huh, but I need the whole sentence. Aha, uh -huh, I, I, I couldn't understand you. What do you say? Exactly. So you see, this one is from coming from the verb from perse, right? But let me yeah, ask right. you. Yes. Is, yes. is it a verb or is it an adjective right now? Adjective. It's an adjective because it's describing how I do have my dress. I don't have my dress nice. I do have my dress torn. So you see, when you're talking about or describing a problem, the first way to talk about that is to use the participles as an adjective. What will be the formula? The subject, which is my dress, the bird to be, and the participle as an adjective as an adjective. Is it clear, this one? Yes, teacher. Yes. Clear, are you sure? Like water or like horchata? Be not, be honest. Like water. Like water. Hopefully crystal water. Yes. All right. In the last example that I'm going to show it to you right now is this one. Let's see. Let me give you another example and let me raise this. Okay, let me just raise it. Let me turn on this. Let me give you this example. You see, we have a car. Let me just put it here a little bit closer. Okay, you see the car? The car is dent. The paint yeah. is clutch. You see? The yes. car, the car is subject, verb to be, and then dent, participle as an adjective. The pain, subject, verb to be is, and the scratched is an adjective. 
Is it understandable? Yeah? Yes, teacher. Okay, and the second way that we're gonna see today when we're talking about complaints is that you can also use it with nouns. You can said, you can use subject plus have or has and the noun, or you can use there is or there are plus noun. And we have an example. My dress has a, has a stain on it. And another way, there is a stain on it. Easy peasy queasy, right? Oh yes, teacher, of course. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. We're not going to see it for now. To tomorrow, we're gonna practice. We're gonna see it more examples, more sentences for both as in areas, for participles as an adjectives, or with nouns. We're gonna see some examples and we're gonna practice writing, okay, tomorrow. So don't worry about it. And then I think for tomorrow, you will be able to complete um, week number one. Definitely you will be able to do it, okay? Any questions, any doubts? Guys, um, if you would like to start with the platform and you already finished week number one, you're going with week number two, you have questions, feel free to ask, okay? Don't worry, we'll be able to, to take a moment to explain an exercise or discuss some information that is not quite understandable for you. Don't worry about it. Hey, you know what? Time is over. Oh my goodness. That was really fast. Excuse me. I took five more minutes from your time. May I apologize for that terrible inconvenience. It will happen frequently. I'm not just kidding. <laughs> Okay, guys, Sorry. it's time to say goodbye. I'm so happy to see you. Hugs and kisses. Have an amazing night, okay? Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. The Thank same you. for you. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.